What's up guys, Sean here from srkcycles.com We have a, uh, I think it's 2011, I forget 2011 Can-Am Spider RTS Acropovic Exhaust It's got these cool uh, web boards It also has Elka front suspension Which are crazy expensive Check them out Elka made in Canada Nuts! Lights. Lights. I also just got done putting a brand new rear suspension on this thing. The whole air ride setup. Let's take this thing for a spin. Yo, it's Caleb! Nice! Guys always ruining my videos. Just jumping out. Bam. Take the parking brake off. Get a neutral. Spin a bunch of tires, throw rocks on the Caleb's truck. If you've ever tried as hard as I have to uh, two wheel this thing, it's really hard to do. It just doesn't want to do it. These soft grips are pretty nice. I mean, these things are just really planted. Check out the lights. You see the lights on the on the fenders? I thought they were kind of dumb when I first uh, got the bike, but when you see them lit up, they look pretty awesome. Another cool thing that this bike does is it'll downshift itself to make sure you're not like over revving it or beating it up too much. You know, kind of a self-preservation type of thing. I got used to the uh, the next gen Can-Ams and they shift a little bit easier. Well, not, it's just a little bit different. You just tap the button and it shifts. This, you gotta hold it down there for like half a second and then it shifts. And now that I know that, I'm not missing shifts. These are, uh, check this out, it also has uh, the, um, this has the electronic hardening softening suspension, which is pretty awesome. It's got the air ride, so when you sit on it, if you put a passenger on there, you'll hear the air compressor brrr, blow up and the suspension levels back out. The, uh, you see the, um, the windshield adjusting up and down? That's pretty cool. We'll shift, we'll keep the RPMs nice and low. These are definitely, uh, these things are pretty tacked out. It also has an auxiliary input. Looks like it might even be plugged in. And they definitely have pretty decent power for being just a giant snowmobile on the, on the road. I mean, you're not going to have any problem keeping up with the people around you. It cruises on the highway, no no issues at all. And these things redline at like... I don't know. Maybe 9 to... Somewhere 9 to 12, it tells you to shift. Ugh. I like these grips, too. This also has heated grips. Shoot, why am I not using those heated grips? Turn them heated grips on. You, you hear it? It uh, it matches the RPMs and it'll rev itself down. That's nice. That acropovic exhaust really gives it a nice sound to it. 
but it's not super loud because you don't really you know it gives a little more free flowing with the air but who wants a can am that's just screaming all over the place it's not really that type of bike but you can definitely hear it a whole lot more than the stock ones. Up here, let's do a brake test. The cool thing about this is, well, it's different. It's one brake. It's on your foot. There's no handbrake. Which if you're if you just... If you're just kind of like... If you're coming from motorcycles and you're starting with this, it's kind of scary. Because... Your, all your muscle memory and all your reactions I told you grab your brake with your hands I'm just going to lock it I'm just going to and <laughs> I did I like brakes that's cool full brakes that's fun Nothing skids, nothing slipping. It's got a, uh, it's got anti-lock on all the wheels. And when you press that one pedal, it's sending brake power to the front and to the rear. Which it's a much more stable platform than a bike, especially in terms of braking because. If you lock up the rear and the back end, you know, one, there's a lot of rear tire. I mean, you have probably five or six more times rubber on the road on a, you know, the car tire back there than you would on a bike tire. So, it's pretty cool. So, it, it probably sends more braking to the back tire than what you would want to do on a motorcycle. I don't know the percentages. But I know it stops very well. And I'm going to try to get a break. No. <laughs> Guys, if you ever get a chance to... Um, it's actually a smart thing to do. You, you find an object. Like a telephone pole. And you're just cruising. And then you, you, you tell yourself, you're like, I'm going to stop before I get to that object. And you, you really get to figure out the, uh, the capacity of your braking. Watch this, watch this right here. Start now. See, I got it. I stopped before that telephone pole. I find that on this bike with the modifications done to it and the aftermarket exhaust, it shifts much more smooth if I let off the throttle when I uh, when I shift. Normally, you can do it either way. It doesn't feel any better or worse, but this one feels better when you let, when you let out the throttle. Guys, it's Sean wrapping it up. I'll see you guys later. Check out the other video. Check out the walk around video. This bike is for sale. We ship all over the country. All right, guys, remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going. See you later.